I, see, I love time and I love no time. It's an and proposition. We're going to talk on our trip about the fact that scientists argue – some argue, well, there is time. Obviously, there has to be time when they look at the uh, clock on the wall. <laughs> Others argue that there is no time. It's totally made up. It's a measurement system, and it's not real. It has no real physics behind it. Uh, and guess what? Both of them are true. Shut up the debate. They're both true. They're absolutely both true. This is life in the new energy, and, and science is being turned on its head right now, and I'm loving it. I've always loved science, I, but not limited science. I've always loved the wide open science, things that are validated, but yet things that are uh, contemplated outside of the box and later validated. So all scientists really do is validate what already is. Uh, they're, they're like accountants, nature's accountants. They're just validating what already is. They're validating your creations. That's all they're doing. Problem is, they're validating just one little, little slice, one little perspective. But the beautiful thing right now, with the changes of consciousness that we've had in these past, let's say, past decade, is that science is being turned on its head, upside down, twisted. Ah, they're they're getting so frustrated. What's happening is that science is not being invalidated, current contemporary science. not being invalidated at all. It's actually being validated each and every day. The law of physics, the laws of things like gravity and light and, and motion and everything else are actually being validated. And at the same time, a new reality is starting to appear that they don't understand because it's not in the context of current, uh, modern, accepted science. While contemporary science, while contemporary validation will continue to remain intact, now comes a new reality. It doesn't invalidate gravity. It doesn't invalidate the natural laws of physics, and doesn't even necessarily invalidate Einstein's theory of relativity. Activity. It actually can enforce it. But what's happening now is the and of life. Suddenly, somebody's realizing, you know, this is true over here, everything we read in the books, all the, the studying, it's true. And there's something else happening. This stays intact, yet this is happening, and this is happening. Quantum. Uh, particles, quantum science is happening, but it doesn't invalidate this. It's not dependent on current science and physics either. It's completely of its own. Now this really has them confused because they're used to one set of principles, one set of laws, and suddenly there are multiple laws and principles and concepts and theories and ideas and ways of living. It's the big and coming to you in this generation. The big and. There's more to life than what is seen through here, thought through here, heard through here. There's so much more. Whether you realize it or not, you're at the leading edge of it. That's why it's tough. That's why it's tough, because you don't really realize you're on the leading edge and you're like, no, I'm just going through my life solving <coughs> little problems, creating new little problems. So how could I be a, pi- a consciousness pi- pioneer? Yes, got your PhD in consciousness – the hard way <laughs> – backwards. Uh, literally backwards, I mean, because you're coming from a point of consciousness where you understand everything, coming back to a point where you understand very little, and now swinging the other way, going back to consciousness. So where was I is what makes it difficult. There is so much change going on in this world that I say to the scientists of this planet, have fun with all of your facts and your logic. Have fun with all those things because they are going to get blown apart, Uh, absolutely blown apart. All the theories right now of why things work 
the way they do, are about to get blown up. It's not like it's going to happen suddenly like a big nuclear explosion one day, but the discoveries, the scientific and the discoveries of physics are going to come so fast. Uh, there's going to be so much arguing uh, with the, the scientists and the physicists uh, now about what – they've got a nice stable um, uh, theory uh, about energy and, and reality. It's going to get blown up. Uh, and in, in some of the experiments that are taking place right now, as we're speaking, right now, it's going to absolutely destroy them. And to those who are the religious leaders, to the religions in general, you're, have fun with your history and your righteousness, because it is going to turn to dust and be blown in the wind. All of the concepts about religion, which are generally very, very false, uh, generally no real understanding of God, uh, they're going to get blown up. They're going to crumble. They're going to fall apart. So uh, to all them I say, have fun with it now, because you're going to be left in a situation stuttering and stammering, trying to go back to old history. That's not going to work. And to all the philosophers right now, who I say to you, dear philosophers, stop philosophizing. <laughs> Get in the sandbox and play, otherwise you're just dead. Get in the sandbox. So many – you know, philosophy really hasn't gotten this planet very far. I played with philosophy myself. I enjoyed it because then I could come across as an arrogant prick with uh, my what? philosophical statements. <laughs> but it doesn't get anyone any, anywhere. And to the, all the philosophers and uh, all the Machio dogs, just stop talking in it. Get into life and live it like the rest of you are. Entertaining or amusing or? Oh, you're good. Oh, good. good. Oh, you're good. And finally, to um, all the government leaders who think they understand uh, what their people want, who really have no clue. Understand, dear government leaders, leaders of anything, of businesses, but particularly of governments, that understand what people really want – freedom, but understand that they have no clue of what it is. They have no clue. And when you government leaders are giving your big speeches and running for office and making promises, really you need to take a look at what they really want, what they really want, uh, not just in your leadership but in their lives. It's ultimately freedom, but they're so afraid of it, so afraid. My point here is that things are going to change. The world, the headlines, it, it'll go. Are we running out of time? No, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, running uh, – uh, the, the world is changing at such a rapid speed. You get caught in it, Chumbra. You, you get caught in this. What's going on? It's so fast. You stop. You take a deep breath and you just realize, yes, everything is changing. It's evolution. It's because of consciousness, because of you. Well, just stop and take a deep breath and allow. It's that simple. It's going to get tougher in so many ways with the people around you, the world, the news, the craziness. It's going to get tougher. Sorry. And you know what, Denise, all the rest of you, it's not yours. It's not yours. You're feeling it, of course, in your body and, and everywhere else. You're feeling it, but it's not yours.